Welcome everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can use Firebase in your Flutter web application. So at the time of this video, or at the time of me making this video, it is not possible to use the same Firebase package in your Android, iOS and web application. So you'll need to use a different uh, Firebase package to get it going for Flutter web. In the recent Ask Me Anything with the Flutter team, um, one Reddit user actually brought this up and asked if there ever will be a Firebase Dart API that's essentially native for, for Dart. Um, so you won't have to use um, like specific packages to get Firebase working. And um, as you can see in this comment, it is a question that has, been, that has come up before and uh, it might potentially be the case in the future that um, there will be native support for Firebase or by native, I mean that the Dart API will um, expose the Firebase libraries. But at least for now, we will need to make use of a package. So to get Firebase working on Flutter web, we will be using the Firebase package. And as you can see, it targets the web. So this is literally like the JavaScript package or the Dart implementation to get Firebase working in a JavaScript project. Okay, so that said, let's jump in and get going. Um, I'm going to go to the Firebase docs and the to web setup. And in the web setup, you can see and we need to add the Firebase SDKs and initialize Firebase. And there are two ways to do this. You can either do it from hosting URLs or you can do it from a um, content delivery network. So if you're making use of Firebase hosting, for example, you're hosting your application from Firebase, then you can make use of these URLs. Um, I'll discuss these in a little bit, but for now, let's assume we just want to get the libraries from the CDN. So to, to achieve that in our HTML file in Flutter, we will be um, pulling in these libraries. So if we go to uh, example code, this is the code for the Firebase or for the fun with Flutter web application. As you can see, I'm importing these two libraries, Firebase app and Firebase auth. Um, at the moment, that's all I'm using. I'm just using Firebase for authentication. And just for clarity, the index.html file is within the web folder of your Flutter project uh, and it's this index.html over here. Then if we go back to the docs, you can see that we also need to initialize the app. So in oh, from a CDN, how we can initialize this is by creating a Firebase config file and then initializing it, calling firebase.initialize app. So there are two ways how we can actually in initialize the application. We can either do it in JavaScript or we can do it in Dart. So um, let's start with the JavaScript first. If you go to your project in Firebase and let's go to project overview. So this is my project overview. And if you go to settings, project settings, you will see the relevant settings for, for your project. And you can see here's CDN and here is config. So what we need is we need this Firebase config um, object over here with all of the relevant API details for our project. And then it's pretty straightforward. You literally just, you can just copy this. And if we look at the docs, here's the Firebase config. We just need um, those values over here. And then we call firebase.initialize app. And we would paste all of these code, all of this code in our body within our index.html. So for example, over here, you can call uh, firebase.initialize app and you can pass in the firebase config file that you will get from your project settings. But um, that's not how I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it through Dart. So if you go to main.dart, you can see I am importing firebase as fb. And then in my main function, I'm first doing an assert. I'll tell you why I'm doing that now. But the point is I am initializing it calling um, initialize app on the um, Firebase that we imported. And this Firebase that we imported, we go to our pubsec.yaml file. You can see I'm uh, adding a dependency, the Firebase dependency. And this is uh, this one over here. And technically that is that. That's literally all you need to do. You need to import Firebase app. Then you need to import the modules that you use. Currently I'm only using off. But for example, if you're using the database, then you'd also need to import those libraries. Um, you'd need to um, add a dependency for Firebase. And then as you saw in the main file, you need to initialize it. But as I mentioned, you can also initialize, initialize your application through JavaScript. 
And um, I'm doing this assert because I'm making use of Firebase hosting. So if you're making use of Firebase hosting, meaning it's hosted on Firebase or your application is hosted on Firebase, it's even easier. So if we go to from hosting URLs, here you can see we have this underscore underscore and then it references the um, relevant libraries, meaning you're not actually pulling these files from a CDN, you're pulling it from or relevant to the path of your um, hosting project. And if you do it like this, all you actually need is to also import init.js and then by default, your project or your Firebase project will be initialized in your app. And as you can see in my index.html, that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm importing init.js. Um, the reason that I also have this assert and initializing the app in the main um, dot file or through dot code is because the hosting URLs will only work in production or only work if you are serving it locally using Firebase server. And that is where the problem comes in. You can't run um, Flutter locally and then also serve your files locally through Firebase, um, Firebase server command. So essentially, um, even though I'm making use of Firebase hosting, I can't use these when I'm doing um, or debugging or when I'm developing the application locally. I can only make use of the um, hosting URLs when I deploy. And for that reason, I am also getting this, uh, the content from uh, CDN. And then when I actually do a deploy, I just comment these files out to make sure I'm only deploying or only um, importing these and then also doing the init. And then in main.dart, as it is an assert, it won't actually work if it's not a debug build. With that said, that is all you need to actually initialize the app. Um, let me quickly show you some examples of Firebase usage. As I mentioned, I'm only using it for authentication. So I've created this user repository file. As you can see, um, you initialize this Firebase off uh, object and this off object or this off method is exposed through firebase.dart. And then you can call the relevant methods um, so sign in with pop-up or sign in with credentials, uh, email and password, a create user. And yeah, if you want to look at these as an example, feel free to check out the uh, Fun with Flutter GitHub repository. I will link that in the description. Or alternatively, you can also look at other examples. So in the blog post, I mention a link to examples. I believe it's this one, this Firebase Extended. And here you will find a variety of different use cases for using Firebase and Dart together. But yeah, that's that, um, fairly straightforward to do, but it would be great if in the future we can use Firebase uh, just through a Dart API, instead of importing any packages or jumping through hoops to get it to work in different uh, environments. But um, it's still pretty straightforward. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you um, couldn't understand my rambling or my accent, uh, give the blog post a read. Um, all the information is over there. And until the next video, cheers.